The warmer weather means that snake season in South Georgia is here. I know you're always happy about that. So very happy to hear that, right? <laughs> WLB News sends Gabrielle Tate tells us how you can safely deal with the reptiles that are more active now. When it comes to snakes, some people may be scared, but wildlife officials tell me the risk of being harmed may be lower than you think. We have two big snake identification pages on Facebook that are wonderful. One is called What Kind of Snake Is This Georgia? And the other page is called Georgia Snake Identification and Education. And just to give you an idea, the Georgia Snake Identification and Education page actually has over 60,000 members involved. The six venomous snakes to look out for include the cottonmouth snake, the copperhead, the timber rattlesnake, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake, the pigmen rattlesnake, and the coral snake. On the rare chance someone should come into contact with one of these snakes, they can do the following. There is a snake relocation directory page on Facebook, which I do recommend checking out. And there's a bunch of volunteers statewide that will help you uh, relocate a snake. And for venomous species, I really would like people to call the experts on that. People should also pay special attention to their yards in order to prevent snakes from coming. If you are not a fan of having snakes around your house, there's some simple things that you can do. What you need to do is you need to remove the food source. And so the food source for a majority of snakes are gonna be small rodents. They're fantastic with rodent and pest control. So keeping your grass cut, keeping bushes cut down. Getting rid of the rodents also requires some work keeping leaf litter piles and then piles of logs, things like that, away from your home is going to discourage mice from coming closer to your home, which will also discourage the snakes from being closer to your home. Gabrielle Tate, WALB, your hometown news source.